it's me again, Sean. It's been a long time, but uh, why am I here today? Because I have something really awesome. It is the Sony FS100. Whew. This is sexy, man. I mean, it was just announced a couple of days ago, and I can't believe I have one here in my hands in Singapore. So, uh, what's so cool about this? Well, I am a run and gun weddings shooter, so this is this is. I'm gonna look at this from the viewpoint of a, a run and gun person. Um, first of all, we've been pretty much in the DSLR arena for the past two years, and this is Sony's answer for those of us who wants that uh, very desirable DOF, shallow DOF. And well, here you have it. A large S35 sensor in a, something like a camcorder body. So this is it. You can have interchangeable lenses. Well, the thing now is that it only works for Sony lenses. This E mount, which is the same as the um, uh, the ones from uh, NEX, and uh, uh, it. We'll have an adapter for the alpha lens, uh, but those of us with loads of Canon lenses, I don't know what we're going to do with it. But we'll wait, and hopefully uh, there will be something that allows us to change the aperture uh, for this. So, uh, just a couple of things I want to mention. I'm not going to run through all the features and details. Um, this little gadget here will not actually allows us to shift the position of the uh, mic, and it's important to me because sometimes we have a wide lens. The mic does get into the frame, especially if you have something like a 416 or NTG3, it's long. Um, and also, this guy actually allows us to adjust the angle of the mic, which if you are doing a dolly shot that's very low, there might be a chance where you are going to be there for quite a while. Uh, you want to tilt it up. And also, for storage, you can just flip it over and then it gets a lot shorter. So that's very thoughtful of Sony, they are really um, getting there in terms of ergonomics. Um, one thing I don't really like is that this, this handle is screwed on. So in the EX1, we have a button whereby we can just press and adjust. But now no, you got to release this and then tilt this. It's just cumbersome and slow, but the good news is that you won't be doing this every day. Um, and the bad news is that this modular design, although it's very uh, flexible, uh, the problem I have is the grip is very weird. You, if you have the screen over here and you are looking like this, your eyes will just get. So you want to put it further away, but you know it's just weird. You get tired very quickly. So we're gonna figure out some kind of device. Uh, very soon, I'm sure all those devices will come that allows us to either shoulder mount it or hold it in a, in a better position. Um, other than that, I think the camera is pretty uh, standard. You have uh, a lot of buttons here. This is good. Okay, you can assign the, those buttons. White balance gain, shutter speed, and everything is adjustable. And uh, just that now your audio stuff is all here. It's good. It's going to prevent you from any accidental triggering and your review buttons, uh, you do the visual index, you can see all the clips that are shot. Yeah, the problem stuff is that you gotta, you gotta use a uh, touch screen. It's nice, but you know, it's, it has loads of uh, fingerprints. And um, well, I like this swivel screen. Uh, this swivel screen allows us to do something like that. And those of us, I mean the wedding people, like nearly everybody are using the dollies. Uh, the sliders. This is very good because you can slide and look down and not like what we are doing now, trying to squat down very low and uh, well, that's uh, history. And um, also, you have plenty, plenty of mounting options. You know, look at the base, it's like full of screw holes. There are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine holes. Yeah, more than enough. And uh, what else? Let me see. Okay. You have the uh, EVF, which is 
basically the same as the the um, EX3, whereby you uh, mount it on, and you can still have access to the LCD. Uh, the problem with this is that you gotta use this button here to tighten it, otherwise it is gonna just slam bam. Uh, I find it a bit odd uh, to have this. It does increase increase your grip stability, but uh, you know your, this part is in the air. It's just weird. And yeah, one glaring omission. Where's the ND filter? ND filters are out of this body. I'm sure they could have done it. Uh, I wish they had. Um, oh well. Anyway, um, so it means that we have to have a matte box or or just a fader ND screw on. Um, other than that, I guess um, nothing much to say. Uh, check out the footage for yourself. the footage like it sorry I didn't have much time to do much um, well from the short test I'd say that this is a very promising camera um, it's a good step that uh, Sony has taken and uh, I really hope that more improvements can be made I guess it's a choice of the individual whether you want to move ahead if this if you are someone who has not moved on during the DSLR phase, I think this is a good choice. But if you already have many DSLRs, uh, you should try it and see if you like it and whether this fits your workflow. Uh, well, I guess for me, I'm gonna hang on till NAB and see what happens. Well, till the next time, see you again. Bye.